Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download and install TACAX Plus for use with a FortiGate firewall so you can enable VPN SSL sign-on with an Active Directory account. <clears throat> so in my lab, I've already downloaded the TACAX software. I'll put a link to the download in the description. And I want to see how I want it to see how it's done from scratch. So <clears throat> you've got to run this exe file. But I know for a fact there's going to be something missing. So let me just open Server Manager in advance. Right, I'll minimize that while it's installizing so if we run the setup first you've got to be on ad you've got to be an admin so i right click run as administrator and i think you'll find what's missing is dotnet framework so just wait for the box to pop up a sec And as you can see, you get this error here. So we're gonna click okay. We'll minimize this. Server manager should have now started. So we're gonna add roles and features. Click next, click next, click next. So this is the only server in the lab. And we don't wanna select anything off this first page. So click next. And we want to just check this box here. Click next. Restart if necessary. Yes. And install. What I do, I'm going to leave this installed. It's going to take a few minutes. I'll reboot the server and then we'll pick up where we left off. So it's finished installing, so I'm going to just give it a reboot. Okay, so server is just rebooted. So next we need to do is create um, a group and a user for use with the TACAC server. So this is my lab. So in security groups, we're going to create a new group, a new security group called, oh, sorry, wrong button new security group called VPN users. Okay. And in lab users, we're going to create a new user called TACAX. And I'm just going to give it the password 1QAZXSW2, just for easy use. Okay, so maybe I won't. Let me uh, give it something different. So I'll just give it uh, w -else. welcome 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we've got our group, VPN users, and we've got our lab user, which we're going to use for the TACAC software, because we're going to need to uh, specify a user. So let's go to the downloads. TACAX, right click, run as administrator. Because .NET Framework's been installed, server's been rebooted. So right, that's starting up. So I'll just shut down this back window. Okay, so we're going to click next, accept, next, 
complete install. Next. Shared secret. So this is what you're going to need to put into the config later on. So I'm just going to put shared secret password. Yeah, so I just copy that out. Run a notepad. Paste that in and just minimize that. Next, install. This can take a few minutes depending on the speed of your VM or whatever server you print it on. Nearly finished. Okay, so we're done. So I don't want to read the README. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to just click finish. So now we need to open the directory where the config files are so we can start editing them. They're in XML format. So let's just have a look. See, you can see program data here. So if you go to view, hidden items, you can see program data. And then you can see the TACAC server. So config. Now these are XML. To edit these in Notepad is a bit of a nightmare. So what I'll do, first thing I'm going to do is make a new folder called backup. And I'm going to copy all the original files into the backup folder, just in case we needed to revert back or something went wrong. Okay, and before we go any further, I'm going to install Notepad++. So, let's open a browser. What I'll do, I'll pause the vid work while I install this. Um, if it's going to take too long, let me just see, just give it two seconds. Um, no, we should be good. So I agree. Um, Notepad plus plus. Download. I'll just run it. I don't need to save it. So just close that down in the background so we can see what we're doing. Minimize that. Okay. Next. I agree. Next. Next. Create desktop shortcut. Next. Okay. We don't want to run it, so that's fine. Go back to our XML files. And the first one we want to open up is authentication. XML, so right click, edit with Notepad. Maximize this. Cancel that. Right, so this is the first XML file we're going, we're going to edit. So scroll down now until you see user group. Leave this first one as standard. And we want user group. And in here, we're going to put the name of our group. And if you remember, let's just go back into AD. It was VPN users. So I'll do this. OK. And we'll leave it as Windows domain. This needs to be the IP address of the domain controller. So in this case, it's 
31.1 and we'll leave the port as 389 and now we need to put in the path to where the users are okay so so to get what we need to put in here what we're going to do we're going to go back into ad go into our lab users this is where we created the tac axe user go to view advanced lab users so right click on the user properties go to attribute editor and scroll down go in until you see this distinguished name click view and we want to copy this out to we see OU equals lab users DC equals lab comma blah 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 so click OK cancel go back into the XML file and so we're going to replace this here now with that and below that then we're going to change this to the VPN users the same as in the top so let's get this out this will be the group you're going to use in your firewall um, when you set up the SSL VPN users okay so that's that and the username is not going to be administrator so let's just take a look at what that was it was tacax but we'll just be doubly sure so go in account copy go back to the xml paste that's the user leave the other bit so that's fine and what we need to do now is remove these quotes when you do this This makes this part of the XML live, as you can tell, because it's gone blue. And in clear text, see this password here? This is the password for the account we created. We copied it into a notepad. Sorry, that was the shared secret. The password for the TACAX user was welcome12345. So what I'll do, I'll just reset it. I'll put this into a notepad. So Welcome one two three four five. I'd recommend using a lot stronger passwords. Obviously, and these are stored in clear text in this config, so you need to make sure the server is locked down and nobody can view it. This has been changed. So if we just paste that in there, that's fine. What we do, what we need to now is just save that. So if we just hit save, that's fine. And now we're going to open up client.xml. So if we go back to our downloads, there it is. Just going to edit with Notepad++. In here now, you're going to scroll down until you see client group. So if we just scroll down. So client group, you can see it's all highlighted. So where we've got a local host, that's fine. This is the shared secret password that we put in when we set it up. If you remember, we copied it there. There it is, it's the same one. And what you need now is to change this to your domain controller, the one the other XML file is pointing at. So it's 3.1, sorry, it's uh, 31.1. Okay, and then if we scroll down, the internal network is going to be 31 with a 24 bit mask. That's fine. And then if you scroll down again, you'll see default and shared secret, and you just hit save. So that's fine. So if we minimize this now, and minimize this no we don't want to do that so right click to search for services oh. 
Okay. Scroll down until you find the TACAX user or click on one of the entries and press T. It is TACAX.net. So double click. Stop the service. You don't have to, but I always do. Start it again. So that started great. So now we need to go over to our firewall. So I'll just pause a bit while I load up the firewall. Okay, so I've logged into the firewall. I've got TACAX plus Servizure. I've created a new one. So let me just go to, I did create a new one, which is this one. So I'll just edit this. You put in the IP address of your server here, which in our case is 192.168.31.1. And you put in the shared secret password, which is the one we put in the XML notepad earlier and then we click test. If test is okay, you can successfully authenticate with Active Directory, and now we can continue to set up the SSL VPN users. I hope you enjoyed the vid. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.